because that was certainly tedious. And for a first time Titan builder, this is, it's kind of ridiculous. What's up, people? I'm Zog, back on my super crazy custom vanilla world. And we, last episode, if you missed it, we started work on the Iron Titan. Why are we doing an Iron Titan? I say this again because a lot of people I know, especially, I don't know, those of you who don't go big or don't know about my concept of going big, don't know why I would do this. I basically do it because I can. In the words of Andy, I don't normally say it that way, but he's got a point. Why not? Oh, it's too difficult. Oh, it takes too long. Oh, it's overkill. Yeah, that's the point. Let's go big. Why not? Um, but anyway, so that's why we do it. We still have these guys in here, which we have 24 uh, villagers in, in both of these guys. We did have a little bit of a mishap where they actually some of them get, got out. That's why there's 23 in this one. I had to refill them a little bit. Um, and the other guy I think is good. Where is he? Uh, all the way. I got to watch my hole in the middle. Uh, all the way down there. Now, what I'm going to do is actually we're going to go into, again, <laughs> this. Because there's a bunch of things that I want to show you. First of all, is that I've done, um, there's no more work that was done up here. But we did do some work down here. And that's why there's a 3x3 three three out. We had to do the drop chamber, which is this is the drop chamber. There's a two block space because uh, iron golems can't fit through two blocks. And even though it looks like they might be able to squeeze through the corners, they're too big for that. They can't fit through there. So they're going to drop straight down onto magma blocks. Now that ne they don't swim. So magma blocks will kill them. Inst well, not instantly. They don't <laughs> actually it takes a lot longer than lava does. But with lava, there's always the chance that a little bit of iron gets destroyed. Although since they're three blocks tall, you put iron on the third block. The chance of that is really minuscule. Uh, but uh, just because... And this is actually a lot safer for us. If we put lava in here, even a lava blade, we risk falling in and dying. Whereas if we fall into this one, all we have to do... Ooh, oh, that's right. I'm in uh, <laughs> spectator. <laughs> all we have to do is start swimming. And we're not going to take damage from the magma blocks. We might take one heart or half a heart of damage. But overall, it's not going to be that bad. It does take forever to kill the golems. But uh, we're, like they'll, they'll constantly die, but there will always be golems in here dying, which I think is actually a pretty cool concept. With the lava thing, I don't think you get a constant golem kill. Uh, maybe you do. I, I don't know. I've never built one of these, but uh, yeah, we probably do, actually. There's so many golems that come through, but it doesn't really matter. In any case, it doesn't matter. Now, I don't have enough hoppers to actually do a proper storage chest, so I went and I did these first with some of the iron that I already had. And then uh, this is going to be our iron storage. Basically, right now, we're not doing anything with the iron or the poppies or anything. They're just going into chests. And right now, just this one. As soon as we get this guy a little bit full, then I'm going to make hoppers for the rest of them. And then it'll go all the way down. And then we can start on the actual hopper everything storage, which is where this part over here comes in. Now, I made this guy on the bottom. Don't worry about it too much because that's just so I could build this guy. This guy, at the very end, we're going to place a dropper going straight down or actually no the dropper is going to go over into a block it's probably going to be the dropper is going to be where this block is and then there's going to be an empty space and then another block and that way it hits the block and falls straight down straight down we i wish i could go faster oh i can scroll wheel i forgot about that so it goes straight down into these hoppers which then gets pulled in and this is where i had to go mining for more iron so i could actually get more hoppers Oh, wow. Okay, slow back down now. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. We slow? We slow. We're slow. Good. Okay. So then the uh, poppies are... Actually, this is after they get sorted. So only the poppies are going to get spit out. Um, this is... Yeah, they're going to get spit out after they get sorted. So the poppies are going to come down here. And they're going to go in. And this is basically... Uh, the, <laughs> the Iron Titan tutorial that Tango put out. This is it. Okay, this was all in there except for a couple alterations. Okay, so it's the default one. And then he has a video for a 1.9 fix, which actually changes this little scenario here and kind of goes around into this scenario to, to activate it. And what that does is basically it supplements it with iron. In his uh, update video, his 1.9 update video, he supplements it with iron, which makes a lot of sense. It's perfect, perfectly fine to do that. You get so much iron, it's ridiculous. I don't have any issue with that. The only reason... I can't do that is because I'm all the way down here and the uh, <laughs> I'm all the way 
I'm all the way down here, and I've already sorted out the poppies. So we're not getting any iron down here, so I can't supplement it with iron because I don't have any to supplement it with. So that's where this guy comes in right here, where we have a lot of chickens already being populated. If we look in this hopper, nope this hopper right here, we're already getting a bunch of these guys. So basically what is happening without going too far into it, cause he goes into it and I'll have the links in the description, of course, for the tutorials. I should have put it in, I'll probably put it in the last video too. This is again, pre-recorded. The last one hasn't gone out yet, but uh, I'll put the links in the description of both of the videos. So that way you can check it out. And uh, what's going to happen is basically every 10 seconds, this whole thing here is every 10 seconds and this dropper or dispenser right here is triggered and it sends an item through the portal. Okay, then if there isn't enough, eggs get added in. Slowly but surely, eggs will be added into this. Now, the reason I have so many chickens is because right now we're sending items in and I have it filled with stone, I think. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, we're still going, but I have it filled with stone. And then it's kind of a thing. Once it empties out completely, uh, I, I'm going to actually come down here. Let's see. Um, I just want to show you this to you really quick. Let's go. All right. I'm going to do all of this live and on camera. We're going to do some game mode one. Okay. It's okay. All I'm doing is taking them out and replacing them. So, if we don't have any, one egg goes in. And once it's shot out here in a second... Bloop. another one fills in this in its slot so this is basically infinitely going to populate this guy if it's empty if we don't make enough poppies then this guy will actually supplement it and it will make it so it never ever ever runs out so we can go ahead and put these guys back in the egg will be well one of them will be shot out eventually the egg will be shot out and then it won't be added again until this thing is completely empty so we're good to go also i've added in for myself that's everything that tango does in his tutorials I've added for myself. So if you're interested in doing overflow protection, so if you do make too many hop, uh, poppies that you can actually do a little bit of overflow. There's a chicken. I had an incident earlier <laughs> where there's actually a chicken. I don't know. I guess he maybe he came out or something. Oh, oh, I'm dispensing the egg. Crapo. That needs to change to a dropper. I'll end up doing that off camera. That's not too big of a change. Um, that's why we're getting chickens because they're not going through the nether. I am so glad I tested that with you guys. But anyway, overflow protection. So this right here is all extra. This is all stuff that I added. And basically what's going to happen is if this guy is too full, then this signal is going to be long enough. And it's going to go all the way down over here. And then this guy is going to be triggered into this guy, which is going to basically make this clock here and trigger this guy until there's a less amount of items. Now it doesn't get rid of too much. I think it gets rid of anywhere between a half stack and a full stack. Hey, you go away. So uh, we should be good to go. We shouldn't have any problems uh, with that. So we're not going to be too full and we're not going to be too empty. So we shouldn't have any problems with lag or items being fallen or items. What? Items being um, like stacked up in the world for, for lag and all that other good stuff. So we shouldn't really have too many problems with that stuff. Uh, and we should never run out. So we should be okay down here without any issue, except for up here, eventually the eggs are going to stack on top of the hoppers. I'm just hoping it's not going to be too much. Uh, I really, 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 really hope that it's not too much. I suppose I could get rid of the, I don't know. I might be able to get rid of the poppy thing and just use eggs, but I, I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel comfortable with that at the moment. So I don't know. I don't know. We should be okay though. We should be okay. Let me go back. Oh wait, did I put everything back? Do I have? Okay, no, we're good. All right, let's go back into game mode three and then I'm back and we're going to go back to where we were, uh, which I don't remember where that was. Is it over here or there? Or eh, eh. I don't know. There's something else I want to show you though. Over here, this is a sidetrack. This is a side note. We have uh, actually a little bit of a villager pen area. This is kind of what I was talking about with the village. Only this fence actually needs to be moved back to all the way up here as well. Uh, and I want it to basically encase this area. I kind of want to, I don't want to leave these ice spikes because those are just freaky looking, but like this, I want to leave. And that guy, I want to leave. And I might even create my own. This one's staying. I might create my own, although I think the three is probably good. But we're going to make the fence around the entire area. And then we're going to start building a village in the area here as well. So that's pretty cool. And these guys are now all here. I think they're even activated. Yes. So now we're getting all of the food. And another side note, 
is that I think the potato guy is now finally, finally fully populated in here and we're pretty much good to go. Let's go check it out to see if we're getting any, uh, any potatoes, potatoes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, you? Yep, plenty. You? 15. Okay, maybe you just haven't come in yet. I don't know. We're, we'll have to keep our eye on that. Maybe he just finished recently. Very, very, very recently. We'll have to check on that to make sure that uh, we do start getting food. Anyway, so now that we have this kind of uh, situation, everything should be good. And now it's dark. It's been dark. So we're actually prime spawning location for, for this platform. I want to make sure nothing can spawn here because it would be really, 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 really bad if they could. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> I want to make sure. I want to make darn sure. Also, there's some parts of this that aren't currently there. We need the roof actually on top of these structures so that the doors we place over here will be recognized as houses and therefore we can actually bound them. But now it is just about time to add in all of the doors, which I don't even know if I have enough wood for, but I can go back down and actually get, uh, I think I was over here actually. Uh, not one, I want zero. There we go. So I can actually go ahead down and grow some more trees and just continue doing what I have to do. Uh, but we should be just fine. Whew, but now it's down to the hard part because everything should be done. I think, I think everything is done. Saying I think is not very good, uh, but uh, we should be okay to go ahead and do what we have to do. <sighs> Place the doors. Next step is done. Oh my goodness, that was certainly tedious. And for a first time Titan builder, this is, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, it all makes sense. It's all logical. I know exactly why we do everything, but it's still, holy crap. Okay, so I've already decided we're only gonna do the 32 village one just because I'm not even done yet and I'm already sick of it. That paired with the fact that this is single player and a lot of people are gonna call me crazy just for building a Titan in the first place. So yeah, now we have 32 villages right here. I have to finalize everything, which really isn't too big of a deal. And then we're pretty much gonna be done. I am gonna leave the roof a little higher just so we can say, you know, hey, if we ever wanna come back for some stupid crazy reason, might as well just go bigger, but go home on everything. We can come back and we can add another 32 villages, but it's certainly not gonna happen now. And where the roof is doesn't matter. So we're gonna be good to go as far as that's concerned. Now, uh, I don't know what the next step is, but I did verify with the villager.dat file in an NBT editor, only reading it. Like you can't really, I don't even think you can modify it because I think it'll just corrupt your world. Um, but yeah, that's a little weird, I think. It doesn't really matter in any case though. Um, Cause I just looked at it. And according to that, I do have 33 villages in this world. 32 of them are here. And then the one we have down there for our breeder. So we're good to go as far as everything like that is concerned. Ah, now it's just time for the next step. It is now time. We have all of the doors laid. We have all of the villagers in place. We're now ready to drop the villagers, which is going to start spawning the golems. And I have everything set up for this, for the most part. As soon as we break this block, these villagers will fall. Then we activate this with the redstone block in our hand, and it will basically push this slab into their head, which hopefully nothing goes bad when that happens and villagers don't explode. Also, I have this little barrier here to hopefully help the iron golems from falling down below. We don't want them. We don't want random golems spawning all over the place. So yeah, we're gonna have to get ready for this. And you may hear some kind of background noise at some point. I'm not entirely sure. I gotta roll through it because I've been waiting to do this for a while. So what I need to do is actually break only this block to let them fall. And then I need to activate this thing. I'm pretty sure I have blocks all the way around so they can't get out and nothing's going to cause problems, I hope. Oh, okay, okay, so far so good. And then, uh, yes, they can reach the doors, which is kind of a problem. It's not really a problem, it's just kind of a thing. Um, I'm hoping they don't because I, I did open all of the doors here which you can see that they're kind of activating over and over and over and over again. Stop it. It worked with Tango. <laughs> but uh, the reason they're all open is because zombies will not 
or cannot break open doors. The doors have to be closed for them to actually be broken. But with them opening and closing all the time, hopefully a zombie will not have enough time to break it if there is some kind of a weird thing. But as you can see here, we now have a couple of golems here. We have two golems already. So what I need to do is actually break this guy right here. We're gonna place block here and then we're gonna let it go. We're gonna leave it alone for now. And I need to go to the other side and do the same thing here. So we need a, bl a glass block and then I'm gonna put a couple more here just so I can place the piston like so. Oh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I am I am a little scared. Okay, break this glass block. Okay. Then I need to, you're, you're set, right? You have the slab, you have everything. You shouldn't be able to get out. You got the carpet down there. We should be good to go. I need to click, but only just barely because if I click through, I can actually destroy something. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, and then you, boop, okay, okay, okay. I think we did it, I think we're good. Now we should get two more golems spawning in here. We should have four total in this place. Let me go ahead and sleep and hopefully by the time when we wake up, we're gonna have four golems. We should have four, I believe four is the number. There's three, I think already. I only see three. There he is. <laughs> Spawning right in front of my face, which is perfect. Now, the only thing left to do, I believe, is to remove these center little torch things, which we don't need anymore, and set up the middle spawning platforms, uh, which need to be slabs. It, I know exactly where they need to be set up, but it's a little difficult to explain without actually having them set up where they're supposed to be set up. So, <sighs> I'll be right back while I finish the farm. And there you have it. Oh man. Okay, let's do some uh, some game mode three stuff here. This is basically what I've got. Now these little pegs that you see poking out are actually required as well as the outside ring. Normally the roof of the Iron Titan is not required after you're done with everything. But for me it is because water sources, ice biome, they will turn to ice and freeze if I don't have these in. But I did turn it into a little bit of an aesthetic thing. I made it look pretty good when I, you know, even though it was required. So I, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm okay with that. That doesn't really bug me uh, all that much. But I am considering, I don't know if I should change those out now. See, I have all the slabs that I have now that were that are staying here are indeed these uh, stone slabs. So that, that works out okay, that should be fine. Um, but it is going, if we go down here, uh-oh. What happened? Oh no, no more golems. My villages might have just merged and I don't know why they would have merged. Oh, that is so not cool, man. I mean, I got a bunch before it happened. I need to figure out why that happened. And I do have a backup sort of, um, I, I backed it up before I dropped the villagers. I should have backed it up after that. Oh man, I need to do some, let me check some things. And, uh, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is probably do a lot of work off camera if that's the case, cause it looks like it is. Oh, I'm not happy. I don't know why though. What happened that changed things? I broke some stuff, yeah, but I didn't change anything that couldn't be changed. This roof was already here. Everything was already there. There shouldn't have be anything in here that adversely affected any of the doors. Nothing, nothing should have been affected by anything that I did. But I will, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If this is, if this is dead, then, oh man, I, I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Because I, I can't redo all that. That's too much, it's way too much. I don't know, let me, let me look at some stuff. Let me see what's going on and I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, okay, I am in creative right now, but that was just to test the concept that maybe it was because I was in uh, spectator, which technically means there's no player nearby. And if there's no player nearby, there's nobody nearby, which means nobody was technically in the map at the time. So nobody, nothing was spawning because that's not a, I guess it's just not a thing. I thought, I thought maybe the golem still spawned. To me, it doesn't make much sense. I guess if nobody's in the map, then that's when they don't spawn. 
But since, uh, you know, I'm in creative now, so technically I'm still in the map and therefore it is processing. We are indeed getting them. I checked the data and I do still have 33 villages, one count, or 32 in here and then one down there. So we're okay with that as well. Oh my goodness. I was so scared. I'm gonna go make a backup right now. World backup complete. And I just took all of the iron to make a bunch of hoppers. Okay. So we're at 12 there, but over two stacks here. This is ridiculous. I mean, I'm talking literally less than five minutes. This is nuts. This is so crazy. Now, again, they're dying slower on the magma blocks, but we're not taking up any of the cat because they're falling so far. So it doesn't matter how long we take to kill them. And in any case, I do need to get this guy hooked up, which is going to spawn, or not spawn, but drop all of the poppies down there into this area, just to make sure we have everything we need to keep this world loaded while we're here. And also just to get the um, poppies out of there. So what I want to do is actually start sorting these things. And I need one more comparator. I forgot a comparator. Because I need one for that guy right there, and I need one. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Be more cautious. Be more careful. Holy crap! Okay. Any hoozle? Okay. Oh, did I say hoozle? I totally did. Oh my goodness! All right, so we're gonna do this situation right here. This guy's gonna go over to about there. Just for now, because I'm not exactly sure where the sorter is going to be, and I think it's going to be over here somewhere. Um, probably right around here, I believe. But then, after that, after I get the other comparator, which I can't, I feel like I need to get that torch, but I really don't. Um, once I get the other comparator, I can hook this guy up to auto automatically shoot. It'll hit the block and fall down. This is how we're going to normalize the shot, is to shoot it against the block rather than aiming it down. And that'll give it more of a chance to land inside this 3x3 three three area. It should hit it every single time. There might be a very small bit of variance, but uh, we're going to end up adding, you know, just a kind of a little barrier here. Just to make sure that it does indeed fall straight down. It should always fall straight down, but you never know. So that's why I added the 3x3 three three rather than just a one block thing. Now, I do also need the comparator for the sorter. I have all the hoppers now. I even ha I can make the sorter now, but I can't activate it yet. So I guess we'll do that. Um, this is a very small platform as well. I probably should do this after I extend the platform. So I guess this is going to end up coming out and across, right? Okay. Um, and actually, this is going to have to be lowered because I, I'm not going to be able to sort it this much. So it's going to have to come down a, a bunch of blocks actually. But while while it's here. We're going to go ahead over because this is what is going to eventually go into here. Right now, this guy is not hooked into it. All I would have to do after this is set up is break these guys and point it into there. And then that would be just fine. We'd be all right. And then actually, uh, once I get some more hoppers made, which I can do just fine, I can plug some into the back of this. And the sorter, if I bring it out this way, I can't no. Uh, after it passes the sorter, rather, I can basically bring a line of hoppers and have this turn and go directly into it. So it's basically the same thing. We'll have storage and sorting in that case, which is probably what we're going to do just initially until we can actually start the building process. But let me get this set up, actually. I'm running out of time for this episode, so I want to I wanna get this going and actually show you what it is I'm thinking and then uh, we'll probably end up calling it, unfortunately, because we don't have a whole lot of time left. <sighs> comparator. Comparator. That's what I'm going to get now. Okay, here we go. So here's our sorter right in here with all of the poppies going in from here. So basically the output, they're dying up top. They're coming down in here via the water sources pushing all the items into these hoppers. It's coming down and around here. The poppies are getting sorted out and then it circles around and comes back into these chests. So now we're going to have nothing but iron in every single one of these chests here. And we don't have to worry about, well, except for you, <laughs> too much about uh, these guys here. Why, why there's 42 of them going into there? I have no idea. But anyway, um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter how, how uh, messed up they are. But what I wanted to do real quick, and here's these guys. They're, okay, so I do indeed need to 
build another layer on this so that they don't pop out on top. Got it. I'm going to collect all of these. I know I am. Oh, uh, 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 there we go. Okay, so now we should be good. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually do this. Bloop. And then <laughs> go like this and this. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I think I can do this now. I want to basically, I need to bloop, bloop, break these guys out a little bit. Uh, not too much. We don't need too much room, but I do need a little bit of room. Now what I want to do, we're going to go ahead and put uh, these guys back in here because they are going to start spitting them out. And I want to check this to see if they are indeed landing exactly where I need them to. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Looks like they are. It looks like they're all going down right into that thing without any question. They're all going in. You see how there's a very, very slight variation in that? Um, that's about as much as it's... Oh, we got one on the edge. But one out of as many as you see here, I think we're going to be okay. Plus the supplement of the eggs. I think we're going to be all right. I don't think I'm going to have to change that at all. So we should be good. We should be pretty good. But we're done. I mean, we now have an iron farm. It is going. I'm going to end up doing... Let's go ahead back into... Um, Remember, I did creative mode for uh, for those purposes. I want to actually do creative mode again so that way we don't deactivate the farm. Uh, that worries me when I do that because basically it's just like me going into the nether or uh, if, I, if there were a way to leave the game running. It's single player, so I can't. If I leave the game, it stops running. But if there were a way for me to do that, that's what it would be like. And uh, that, that scares me. <laughs> so I'm not ready to do that just yet. This guy is indeed doing what he's doing. That bugs me. I feel like there should be a lot more iron golems in here. I really do. I mean, we're still getting a lot of iron. I mean, a whole lot of friggin' iron. We shouldn't have any problems at all with spawns. We really shouldn't. Uh, I just feel like we should have more of them. Like, we're not getting any right now, which is really kind of weird. But we're going to get a batch of them soon? I, I, don't, I don't know. This guy's almost dead. It is what it is. I don't know. It should be fine. We should be okay. I do have a backup of it. I need to, I need to just rest and relax about it. But uh, I am going to go ahead and design this out a little bit. There we go. There's some more. So I'm going to do that off camera. I don't want to do too much, but I do need to get some, at least some of the framework done, such as chest storage and the crafting of the blocks that we're eventually going to start, you know, building with, which is going to be pretty fun. I've never had the opportunity to do that before. And it's really, really interesting to me, but uh, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. Anyway, doesn't really matter. That is about all the time I have for this episode. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Do what you do, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.